what is up you beautiful people out there on the internet welcome to this next episode this month's episode of Battletech Simplified season 4 I believe this is going to be the March episode of Battletech Simplified um, and I'm Michael Shockman I'll be your host and commentator in today's two mech episode we are going to be covering uh, the Jackrabbit and the Raptor to the two chosen mechs uh, chosen by me, uh, and with a little bit of input from some of my patrons over on Patreon, uh, for the 25 time weight bracket of the light, um, of the light, uh, weight class of mechs. Um, so, yeah, sit back, grab a beverage, turn off the lights, and enjoy the show. Here we go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the Jackrabbit, developed in response to a Star League Defense Force request for a long-range infantry support battle mech. The first Jackrabbit prototype was completed in, by 2763, but was only approved for combat testing a mere two weeks before the Ameris coup. Stefan Ameris took advantage of this windfall and ordered the Jackrabbit mass-produced for his troops. Due to the fundamental flaws in the design being revealed in the hard fighting of the American Civil War and the taint of being used against the SLDF, the Jackrabbits uh, were uh, taken on were taken on Operation Exodus. The surviving examples of the 500 Jackrabbits produced and the Scoble factory were carefully mo mothballed by Comstar. Uh, seeking new designs to recoup the massive material losses in, in the Battle of Two Kid, nothing but nothing. Noting the Jackrabbit's dependable and sturdy base frame, Presenter uh, Marshal Anastasius Folkt uh, ordered the maligned design reworked, resulting in the well-received Nexus, which entered production in 3055. After their capture of Terra, the word of Blake revised the production line to produce the so-called Nexus 2, as well as issuing the surviving Jackrabbits to their protectorate militia. As for the Jackrabbits' weapons and equipment, ladies and gentlemen, intended to provide long-range fire support to fellow light mechs and infantry, the Jackrabbit is armed with an Armstrong Double J Light AC-2, backed up at short range, by a single Holly Streak SRM2 rack. Uh, the main weapon is also the Jackrabbit's main drawback. With Class II autocannons have, um, while while Class II autocannons have m longer effective ranges than most other weapons, they inflict the same damage as a machine gun at the cost of considerable weight, which can which could be devoted to a larger engine or more armor. The, a trade-off that ultimately doomed the Jackrabbit. And now for a second mech, uh, today we will, and in this one we will be talking about the Raptor. Uh, the the Raptor was a was the first Inner Sphere Omni mech. Luthien Armor Works designed the Raptor as a proof of concept after months of studying Omni mech salvage recovered from the Battle of Luthien. The inherent ease of repair and ability to reconfigure loadout, uh, reconfigure to reconfigure loadouts made the resulting Omnimech a premier recon and first strike unit. As for the weapons and equipment, ladies and gentlemen, the Raptor is built um, on an Alshane type KR-140 endosteel chassis and uses a weight saving Omni 175 XL engine, uh, which gives the Raptor a top speed of 118.8 kph. Uh, um, three and a half tons of armor provides protection to the Raptor from most uh, light weapons, but the Raptor relies more on its speed than anything else to protect it from taking damage as this armor protection is very thin. The primary configuration of the Raptor is built to engage an, an, an enemy at long ranges with its three LRM-5 launchers. In the case that the enemy somehow manages to close with the the swift moving raptor, the mech carries two medium lasers and two small lasers additionally. In the primary configuration, the raptor carries two machine guns to defend against infantry attacks. 
As for my personal feelings on both of these mechs, ladies and gentlemen, I would definitely have to say that unlike in the last episode in the 2020, 2010 racket, bracket where they were kind of just different versions of themselves, of the same thing, um, the Jackrabbit is definitely um, more of a black sheep of the family, and I can definitely tell in its initial incarnation it was not such a good mech, but was made, made, made better later um, after... Uh, Anastasia's folk got a hold of it and provi and started up the Nexus and Nexus 2 lines. Um, whereas the Raptor, dude, the Raptor seems like it's it's a tough little mech. It, I would imagine that it would give like the Locust or the, hell, even the General run for its money. And this is only a 25 ton mech. Um, it might not be able to stand up in a toe to toe fight against even a, a weight, an equal weight thing of, of equal stuff. But if it can run around and do a bunch of damage while hitting and running, Dude, that would be awesome. Um, I would love to see it in action. I'd love to be able to play as it sometime in Battletech. Um, that'd be really cool. So yeah, if I had to choose between the two, I'd definitely take the Raptor every day. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to about do it for today's episode. I hope you uh, enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon so you never miss an episode. Also, be sure to stay tuned for the outro to find out how you can best support my work financially. You can also do so by following the links down in the description to find out that information out as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this month's uh, two mech thing. Two mech uh, little ramble ensemble what have you <laughs> um but uh but yeah uh stay tuned for next month which i believe will be april when we cover the 30 ton weight bracket uh, i'm looking forward to that because that's when we start to get into some of the heavier weights uh at least for a little bit um and uh by may we should be uh all the way through the um once we get through may's episode we should be right up right on track at the beginning of june to be able to get into the medium max which is where a lot of things really start to happen so i'm looking forward to this hope you guys are too anyway ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed if you did please be sure to comment down below with what your uh preferred mentality is on 25 ton max do you think they're um, a little bit too late to work well or do you think that they're they pack enough weight ability to be able to pack a punch and still be able to keep going let me know down below i'm michael shockman folks i've been your host and commentator and until next time bye bye for now thanks for watching folks hope you enjoyed if you did please be sure to like subscribe and ring the bell icon so you never miss an episode secondly if stream bucks are plentiful please consider supporting the channel either by subscribing on twitch pledging on Patreon, or by grabbing some merch over at the Shock Shop. The links to all of these will be in the, in the About section and in the description down below. Again, thank you to all of our supporters for all of the likes, shares, and views. I really appreciate it, and without all of you, our work here would not be possible. I'm Michael Shockman, folks. I've been your host and commentator. And remember, keep it real, keep it safe, keep it healthy, and we will see you guys all again soon in the next one. Peace off, everybody.